everybody, welcome back to the channel, or if you're first time visiting us, welcome. Today we are working on our uh, 72 Dodge Challenger. I had started our previous video working on the, uh, on the floor pan replacement, so you'll probably have already seen that one, but uh, I misplaced my bit for spot welds. So I've ordered a new one of those. That'll be here hopefully today for me, probably a week or two ago for you. Uh, but the goal is today, while we're waiting for the part to show up, <clears throat> start sectioning out the rear uh, filler panel here in the trunk and also the rear package tray. Those two are both rusty, as you've seen, uh, big rust spots here. And then the back side of this uh, package tray is pretty much all filler. So we've got the new parts here from, uh, from uh, AMD, Automatal Direct. I'm gonna go ahead and get these sectioned out, like I said, and once that final bit uh, shows up, I'll be able to go ahead and start putting in the new pieces after cutting out all the spot welds for the old stuff. So uh, hoping for this video, like I said, I'm gonna get everything cut out and start tacking in the package tray. I think it's best if we put that in first so we've got room to work without this rear trunk uh, filler in here. And I've uh, been doing a few things, trying to kill some time, and let me show you that. But first, if you have not hit the subscribe button below, please do that. It doesn't take anything out of your day. Comment on the video below, check out all of our other videos. It helps me, helps the channel. And if you run across one you don't particularly like, or wanna watch all the way through, let it play in the background. The ad revenue is how we make our money here on YouTube, and uh, the more revenue we make, the bigger, better projects we can bring you. So, that being said, we did start going through the trunk a little bit, uh, cleaned it out, scuffed up all the paint that was in here, got out all the loose chunks, took out a few little uh, pinholes of rust, got those addressed. A lot of the seam seal was simply um, just falling off, so we take a lot of that off, applied some new seam seal, and uh, we're just waiting uh, for more paint to be able to finish off in here. Uh, there was a dent back here. I'm still working on uh, some fill here. It is pretty much was pushed in about three eighths of an inch. And there's some dimples in here. This was also pushed back. So between using my body hammers and actually got the, the uh, porter power out and pressed from behind here with a little wedge and pushed this back out within probably a 16th of an inch of where it needed to be. Uh, didn't want to go too much farther for fear of actually pushing through this metal here, um, making a bigger mess. One of the other fun things I've noticed, uh, not just noticed, but I've known about, is this rear part of the quarter looks like it's been hit with a shotgun. Um, so I found, uh, again, on, on AMD, a replacement panel for this. That's in the mail. We'll see how it's going to fit up when we actually get it. But I figured anything is better than what's here. So we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, wiring out of the way here and kind of mark off what we're gonna cut out. Um, I've been doing that with the floor pan. You can see the hole here. Yep, hole. Is I've been trying to cut around where the spot welds go. Uh, so when we do get the bit back in, it's a lot easier to manage, but I'm also trying to uh, be aware of any, any structure under here. And you probably can't see anything, but I know at least with the floorboards, we've got uh, plenty of uh, bracing for the for the frame itself and I don't want to cut through that so I've been trying to make marks of where any other supporting structure uh, is in here <clears throat> but I don't think there is any being this <clears throat> just a filler panel and uh, excuse me <clears throat> and nothing too important structural or wise there uh, I've still got uh, the roof to redo for that I've got to go grab our 20 foot stick a three quarter inch uh, square tube out of the shop and cut that to fit and get that tacked in. So plenty of stuff to do here in these next few videos. So we're just gonna kinda get to it.
Alrighty folks, we got it out. We broke a grinder. Wiring is bad, something. I guess I'll just have to get this stuff off my lens. Crap. Like melted the lens, great. So, like I said, broke a grinder, have to run to town, find another one. I used my other grinder for flap disc. Um, so we'll just have to jump back and forth for a while. Now, the important thing is I got it out. More importantly, that's why you wear safety glasses. Not sure if you caught it in the camera, but uh, partway through this driver's side here, uh, it just caught and shredded. So that is why you always wear safety glasses with stuff like this. No excuse not to. But now that I got this out, or at least cut out, oh look, speakers. Oh, I actually soldered on. Go figure. What? No, they're not. They're twisted on. Really? Just move this over here. Along with the other air brake. <sighs> Flying Bondo. Now, once our spot weld tool gets here, we need to check around here if there's any spot welds. I know there are some under here for some support for the uh, trunk mount. Same on that side, you can kind of see it over there. And then these two panels here, actually this is part of the uh, package tray itself. And then there's these two brackets here, which uh, spot weld into the, uh, into the back fender weld. So these I do have to replace if, uh, I don't know that these are rusted. I want to look because if they aren't rusted, I'd prefer to keep them intact. It would help keep some of this uh, rigidity back here uh, with these supports. Um, otherwise, I probably would want to tack weld in a crossbar in here. So for now, uh, waiting for that part to show up. Uh, before I can continue with this stuff. So maybe I'll fiddle around with, uh, I don't know. You know. Maybe we can make it into a short bed challenger, right? Just uh, finish cutting this out here, bed sides, and you've got a four foot by five foot area for, I don't know, a cooler of beer and your mullet hats. I don't know. All right, we've been working away, trying to get everything cut out of this uh, rear panel here. And uh, I've got all the stuff out. You just saw, I took out the uh, springs for the trunk and uh, kind of a yay and nay. I have spot welds here to take out. And then I also have some underneath here, I think, uh, especially below here on this crease here, there are pinch welds uh, under here. So I've got to get in there and get those out. I'm not terribly happy about that, but I'm hopefully uh, hoping I can get these undone and cut this section out. Um, that'll allow me to have better access into here because right now I really don't and I don't want to take out this support for this rear deck and the trunk. Um, I have also gone through and ground down ground off the paint for this rear package tray. And uh, hopefully now, uh, when I go through and drill out all my spot welds, I'll be able to get that off without a whole lot of issue. And uh, just this piece here. I'm hoping, like I said, to leave this end tab in place and not take that out. A lot more welding, a lot more fiddling and fitting. And if I don't have to take it out, I'm not going to. So all my batteries for the drills charging up, my air compressor still on the fritz, and uh, it's kind of making life challenging. So I'm gonna take a quick break, grab something to drink, maybe a snack. I think there's a Rice Krispie bar over there. Yeah, maybe I'll have that. Then I'll come back when stuff is charged up and uh, 
see if we can't get these two little sections off here and move on with life. Alrighty, well I've got these uh, two little sections ready to hopefully remove pretty easily. Uh, you can see I've gone ahead and dimpled in with my punch where the spot welds are that I can see, or the pinch welds. So we're gonna go ahead and start trying to take these out on both sides and uh, see what else is in our way. I know I've still got a little bit to remove uh, right up before I get to this, uh, this seam here. So my game is if I can uh, get right up to, yep, if I can get right up to about here, I should hopefully be able to get in and get those other pinch welds out. So let's just get to it. You can see if you're working on curves or not flat surfaces, you can have problems uh, with the bit jumping out, but we got these done. And I know I've got more up here. I don't believe I have any up here. Probably one in here that looks like it's been covered with weld. So I'm gonna grind this down here and we'll see if we can at least get this lower section separated. All right, everybody, we are back. And if you can see behind me, look at this. I've, where's my finger? There it is. Look at that pretty panel set in there. We're good to go, right? No. While I did set it in here last night, just as sort of a uh, tease to myself, uh, there are a couple more things we have to address yet. The first being continuing to clean up the rest of the metal over here. We've got a little bit of the package tray to remove here. Uh, clean up all this metal, hit it with uh, some DTM primer and uh, weld through primer, sorry. And then also this piece of rust here, I'm going to cut out and section a little piece, a patch. Uh, because aside from the rust on the front of this quarter, down here in front of the wheel well, it does not make sense to take this entire thing off for four to six hundred dollars for this little section here. So uh, my goal is to cut this out, probably two pieces, because I do not have a sheet metal break. Um, anybody wants to send me one, that'd be great. Um, even the tabletop one would be great, thanks. Uh, but yeah, I don't have a metal break, so I'm gonna make two pieces, weld it on the outside corner here so you don't see it in here, and we don't mess with this um, inner corner uh, for the glass, and get this set back in place. That is my plan. So we'll see how that works. And I think we'll probably call it a wrap there and come back in the next video and start putting it back together. Why? Because I just picked this guy up today. The pinch welder from Harbor Freight. A lot of these things in here, um, pretty much everything back here was all pinch welded from the factory. And especially in this area here, trying to get under here with doing plug welds uh, seems like a huge pain. And to help it keep look uh, keep the look more factory, the pinch weld would be the way to go. We'll also be able to use that, I think, on most of the roof when we put that back on too. So uh, that's kind of a decent investment, I think, for this project. And uh, no, real, no real way, I don't think, to use it on the floorboard up there, on the floor pan. But at least for this work back here, it'll come in really handy, and especially the roof because I'm counting 30 to 40 um, pinch welds along the, the driver's 
and passenger's door jams alone, not to mention everything uh, along the front and rear windows. So it's kind of the plan. And uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get the rest of this metal cleaned up and I'll work on getting that patch uh, cut out and replaced. Alrighty, we're gonna wrap this one up real quick. And first I wanna say, picked up this, uh, actually received for Christmas, this uh, rolling tool cart from Harper Freight. And that is so far in the few days I've used it been awesome. No longer having to run back and forth to my bench over there, have that be a disaster. I can keep tools in here, I can organize stuff, I can hang all my grinders and my drill on the back side of here. I've got a, a wire brush, I've got my flap disc and I've got my cutoff uh, wheel. Also brand new grinder because my other one died from 10 years ago. So, so far plenty great for storage um, and just keeping stuff mobile, not on the ground, not in the trunk, uh, very helpful so far. But I wanted to go through the last thing I'm doing here after I've gotten the whole rear end cleared out. <clears throat> I put some uh, DTM primer on here for right now. I'll have to grind it back off in spots where I'm gonna hit it with the pinch welder. Uh, but I'm gonna cut this piece out because it is rather gnarly. So I've already run through, as you saw, and hit it with my spot weld uh, drill bit, and I marked where it's gonna be, and started cutting, then I remembered, oh wait, I should film this. So I'm gonna take out this area here, and then I'm gonna make a template. So I'm gonna fill this in here, here, and here, kind of make a, a Z zig to fit back in here. And down here, I'm gonna weld on the outside so I don't impede in here on this uh, angle with the glass fitment. And then here, I'm gonna weld on the back side, inside, so that I don't get a big, ugly, nasty thing here. And then, uh, and then put it back in, tack it in, weld it, and then grind it smooth. And again, this area here is all under vinyl, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but we are gonna get it as best we can. So let's go ahead and finish grinding this out, cutting it out. In this area here, I'm gonna try and just uh, tack in with some, uh, some fill, uh, some weld before I do anything else uh, crazy, because I know I don't have a lot of metal shaping and forming tools. So like I said earlier, um, I know those would be handy. I just don't have any yet. But let's go ahead, grind off, cut out this piece here and wrap it up. So we've got our piece here. I ended up going back just a little bit farther. So I had, uh, it wasn't quite such a small uh, nip here. I wanted a field and there's nothing else back here structural wise and there wasn't. So was not uh, worried about that. I just wanted to get a little more bite back here on this, uh, on this top here. So accidentally went through there with the spot weld uh, bit. I can fill that in. Otherwise we'll get these clear and cleaned out. We'll go ahead and hit the uh, inside of the cavity here with some of that uh, uh, internal frame coating from Eastwood. I know there is a lot of just surface type rust in here. And if we can clean up what is in here before it gets any worse, I think that's gonna be important. So we'll go ahead and get that all cleaned up and come back, start the next episode putting this back together and then slowly piecing back the rear end here. Um, I do need to go grab the back glass to make sure when we put in the package tray and the rear filler panel that I get that spaced out properly so the glass does fit in where it should because that would be a bummer to get everything replaced and then realize the glass doesn't fit. That would suck. Anyways, we'll come back again next week working on more of this thing behind me. And uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below. It doesn't cost anything. Leave a comment. If I'm doing something horribly wrong, let me know. Uh, if you've got advice, tips, whatever. If you wanna send me a metal break, let me know, I'll give you my address. 
otherwise uh, thanks for watching see you all in the next video and until next time take care bye bye as a side note if you're using your garage as your workspace and your daily driver is sitting outside make sure it's not a week when it's five below zero because most dailies don't like that i don't like that <laughs>